Top 10 Celebrities Hollywood Will Never Hire Again Hey, it's Bridget Shields here and let's get into all the celebrities who ruined their own career and made themselves practically unhirable. Number 10, Ezra Miller. The Flash star has made themselves unhirable after a string of arrests in Hawaii, which caused quite a stir on social media, and turned the internet against them. It's easy to see why, as their latest arrest on the 19th of April was for second degree assault. The Hawaii police said that at around 1.30 a.m., the actor was asked to leave the venue and quickly became irate, reportedly throwing a chair which struck a 26-year-old female on the forehead. In fact, the police say that they have received at least 10 calls about the actor since the 7th of March, with complaints ranging from filming people at a gas station to refusing to leave the sidewalk area of a restaurant. Miller has also been charged with disorderly conduct and harassment after an altercation the previous night at a karaoke bar in Hilo. Miller has since been released from jail pending further investigation. Number 9. Will Smith Will Smith shocked fans, viewers and Chris Rock when he walked onto the stage at the 2022 Academy Awards and slapped the comedian across the face then casually walked right back to his seat. The incident occurred while Chris Rock was introducing the award for best documentary and joked about Jada Pinkett Smith's haircut. It was then that Smith silently got up on stage, walked over to Rock and slapped him across the face on live television. The shocking moment has not only got him banned from the Oscars for 10 years, but has already cost Smith several projects, which have either been canceled altogether or shelved in the fallout from the infamous slap. Apple is reportedly delaying the release of Smith's much awaited film, Emancipation, to 2023 following the incident. Netflix also canned the sequel to Smith's 2017 action film, Bright although they claimed the cancellation was unrelated to the slap. And there's many additional projects Smith had lined up that have been getting smacked down, leading many to believe his career will never recover. Number eight, Sam Elliott. On an episode of the WTF podcast with Mark Maron in March, Sam Elliott made homophobic comments about the film, The Power of the Dog, saying that it was a quote, piece of S-H-I-T, Western with illusions of homosexuality. He then went on to compare the film's characters to Chippendale's dancers, who quote, wear bow ties and not much else. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he also insulted New Zealand director Jane Campion, saying, what the F-U-C-K does this woman have from down there know about the American West? After much backlash, Elliot finally apologized on April 10th, saying, I want to apologize to the cast of Power of the Dog, even calling them brilliant actors and praising the queer community. But it was too late because as soon as the controversy started trending on Twitter, the star was canceled all over the internet. Number seven, Whoopi Goldberg. The actress and television show host was suspended from The View after after racist comments made in a January 31st episode. She goes on to imply that it was only down to two groups of the same people that just didn't like each other. Of course, she received a barrage of criticism online for her disparaging comments, which the Anti-Defamation League called dangerous and inaccurate. She tweeted an apology the same day, writing, quote, on today's show, I said the is not about race, but about man's inhumanity to man. But all was not forgiven as ABC News president Kim Godwin confirmed that she was suspended from the show for two weeks. Number six, Chrissy Teigen. The 35-year-old cookbook author faced heavy criticism this year following reports of cyberbullying. Many celebrities came forward to accuse Teigen, including Lindsay Lohan, Farah Abraham, and Project Runway star Michael Costello. Teigen publicly apologized for her past behavior multiple times including a lengthy video post on Medium, which she shared on social media. She also opened up about being put in the cancel club following the controversy. Tegan wrote on Instagram in July, quote, going outside sucks and it doesn't feel right. Being at home alone with my mind makes me depressed and makes my head race. She ended her post jokingly asking if there was a cancel club reunion she should be attending. From there, Tegan was dealt a huge blow after reports circulated that retail giant Bloomingdale's had pulled out of a deal it had in place with the model. Macy's also said that it's not actively selling her cookbook, Cravings, on their site. Uh, it's difficult to see how her career will recover from such bad publicity. Number five, Army Hammer. In January, fans were shocked to learn that now disgraced actor Army Hammer was accused of and wait for it, 
cannibalism on Twitter. In March, he was named a suspect in an LAPD sexual assault case. The result of that is still not known. The actor was checked into a treatment center in June before being discharged last month. And yet, weeks later, questions still swirl around Hammer's personal life amid social media accusations. He was then dropped out of two high-profile projects in the aftermath of the social media tension, which is seen as major distraction that will continue to snowball. And in an industry where movie stars' careers are built on their personal brand and public persona, the damage has already been done. The words cannibal and kitten and daddy will forever be next to Hammer's name in a quick Google search, bringing his character into question and making him a walking red flag in Hollywood. Number four, Chris Noth. Following the release of Sex and the City spin-off, just like that, two women have come forward to accuse the actor of separate incidents of assault between 2004 and 2015. The next day, a third woman, actress and director Zoe Lister-Jones, accused the actor of misconduct on the set of Law & Order. Noth has since been dropped by his talent agency and will not appear in the upcoming episodes of The Equalizer. The actor has denied the allegations in a statement to Us Weekly, saying, quote, the encounters were consensual, but it's too late. As later on, his scenes in Just Like That were deleted, making his character's death seen his final appearance in the series. And uh, that's pretty much it for his career in Hollywood. Number three, Leah Michelle. In June, after the actress tweeted her support for Black Lives Matter, her former co-star Samantha Ware called her out for hypocrisy, saying, quote, I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would in my wig. Wow. That prompted a major reckoning online as others came forward to share their Leah Michelle horror stories. She came under fire for so much of her mean-spirited behavior on the set of Glee, for which she later apologized. But after Ware's tweet went viral, meal kit delivery service HelloFresh ended their partnership with Michelle, and Ware inspired other past Glee stars to come and speak out against the actress, including Morris, who wrote on Twitter how incredibly difficult she was to work with and how horrible she treated everyone on set. Now, because of all the backlash, she has reportedly had trouble booking roles. Number two, Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres was famously slammed by past and present employees with accusations of enabling a toxic work culture when cameras were not rolling putting her signature phrase, be kind to one another, in doubt. She found herself engulfed in accusations of bullying behavior by not only starvers, but past guests and even fellow celebrities. With some insisting her mean nature is common knowledge among the Hollywood elite. DeGeneres addressed the infamous toxic workplace scandal that saw three of her most senior staffers axed from The Ellen Show. Because of the overwhelming negative publicity she received as a result of the scandal, the comic has had to wrap up her hit talk show after 19 seasons on air, but she refused to go off air without briefly touching on the controversy, calling it a, quote, very difficult time. Well, I'm sure it was also a very difficult time for the actual people that she bullied. Number one, Amber Heard. After losing the infamous defamation case brought against her by ex-husband Johnny Depp, Heard was proven to have lied about domestic violence allegations in order to destroy Depp's reputation out of spite. But now, Heard is facing career ruin as multiple talent agents and PR experts have suggested that there is no way back for her in Hollywood, and that the dramatic six-week court battle, which was streamed live to the world, has left the 36-year-old actress completely unhirable. In fact, Heard previously said that she had to fight to retain her role as Mira in the sequel to the 2018 superhero film Aquaman, and that she has since been only cast in one other film in the past two years, a fan-led petition aimed at convincing Warner Brothers to dump her from the upcoming Aquaman sequel has reached a record high. The petition has currently racked up 4.43 million signatures. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.